based on some comments from the previous bug videos, I'm probably going to say something that's not 100% scientifically accurate. I apologize in advance. I'm not an optometrist. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And in today's video, we're going to finish up our series about the EPT bugs and talk about Trichoptera, the caddis flies. First, we'll start with how to identify caddis flies. The larvae look like little worms, but they'll have six legs and a defined head. Adult caddis flies have wings that form a triangle like a little tent over their back and have two wiggly antennae up front. If you're out fishing and you see a bug flying erratically like a moth, it might be a moth, but it's probably a caddis fly. If you see a whole bunch of those little guys together, you've got yourself a swarm of caddis flies. After watching my videos about mayflies and stoneflies, you've already got the basic idea of the life cycle of an aquatic insect. Predictably, caddis flies are similar, but also different. Baby caddis flies hatch from an egg and become a larva. This is where caddis flies really set themselves apart from mayflies and stoneflies. Caddis flies have a whole bunch of different strategies for living on the bottom of the river. Most caddis flies are what we call case builders. Their case is like a little house that they live in. They can be made of sand or small rocks or things like sticks and leaves. See this one, the little log cabin? This is a super common caddis fly called Brachycentris. You probably have them where you fish. Raise your hand if you've ever hooked one of these little guys with your nymph and then made a stupid joke about fishing with bait. Well, you're not special. We've all done that. But not all caddis flies build cases. Some spin nets out of silk. The net catches food like a spider web and also provides a little home for the caddis fly larva. Some caddis flies don't build cases or spin nets. They're just out there raw dogging it, naked in the swirling currents of life. As with mayflies and stoneflies, after a year or so of living underwater, it's time for the caddis fly larva to become an adult. Now think back to mayflies and stoneflies. They go egg larva adult. That's called incomplete metamorphosis. Caddis flies must be fly fishermen because they're going to add an extra step and make it more complicated. Caddis flies undergo complete metamorphosis. Egg, larva, pupa, then adult. When the larva is done doing larva stuff, it pupates or turns into a pupa. When it's ready to become an adult, it will actively swim up to the surface of the water and burst through the surface and out of its pupal shuck all at once and fly away. That's different than stoneflies that crawl out to hatch and mayflies that hang out on the water surface for a while. So what does that mean for you as a super cool fly angler? If you see splashy rises or fish jumping out of the water to eat stuff, there might be caddis flies around. One thing that you can do to find that out is to go shake some bushes and see what flies out of them. Unlike mayflies and stoneflies that live for a day or two as an adult, caddis flies will live several weeks. When they're not flying around, they're usually chilling in some willows. So the adults fly around and get together with other caddis flies and do adult things. Then the female lays her eggs in the water and the whole thing goes round and round. And that's it. That's caddis fly life cycle and a couple other things you should know. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, don't worry about matching the hatch and stay huge. No, there will not be a midge video because midges don't exist in my world.